so now I want to explain about the first step lever so lever is the step it goes to a side to side it's two step and as you do do I have a same thing and then you prepare your hips to the right first because you're going to do the right step first so as you do um, I use two way so one way is with the tap other way is with no tap yeah when you do a first step with the tap you bring your hips to the right but on that time you are also shifting your weight so shift your weight and then as you go shift your weight your right heel will come out from the heel okay so from the beginning one more time hips prepare to the right I'm sorry the hip prepare to the left and step to the right your weight coming towards to the right and then your heel come up and do a tap yeah step to the left your hip shift your weight to the left and tap right shift your weight to the right left shift your weight and tap and for our hello your hip supposed to move as figure eight yeah to do that it's very important to peel your heel from the floor towards to the toe side okay and with that you will have the hip up a little bit not like this way but you will have the hip coming up a little bit and then going towards to the right side and tap one more time to the left heel come up hip come up a little bit and going towards to the other side yeah so step to the side hip come up step to the side hip come up tap make sure you are shifting your weight otherwise you will hurt your knee tap step up tap step up down and your pelvis position is very important make sure that's straight On this time make sure you're still doing a ha -a. your knee is always bending tap step tap step tap one lever two lever one lever two lever one two lever two and yep okay okay so this is lever and with the no tap so sometimes I use the no tap lever for a slower song it's because I don't want to stop my hips with that tap so on this time we do just in this positions never moves one two one make sure your feet is completely apart from the floor one time two so step from the heel and peel step from the heel peel step from the heel peel step from the so it never steps from a toe make sure you're not stepping from a toe P 
feet apart from the floor, step from the heel and peel. Apart and step. Apart and step. So try to control your hips. And that's the connection with the feet. So uh, what I don't want to do is stepping from the toe. So as we are moving our hips, so if you just see the hula dancers and it tries to do what they were doing, you will probably stick your hip up. And then that causes you to bring your weight all the way on the toe side. And as the women wears the heel, it is kind of easier for the women to bring your weight on the toe side. And this way, if you keep dancing with this way, your hips is not properly moving and that is actually causes a problem to your knee. And then your posture will be lean forward. So it's kind of like a jack dancing, yeah? So make sure your weight is on your heel and then step from the heel. So if you see it from the side, step from the heel and peel. Step from the heel and peel. Step from the heel, peel. Step from the heel, peel. So make sure both of the heel is on the ground first and peel. So the timing is very important. Your heel to heel is adjusted each other. And then that's a sign of starting the shifting weight. Start shifting your weight. Start shifting your weight. Start shifting your weight. Start shifting your weight. Yeah, so make sure your heel to heel is once together on the floor. Yeah, so the steps which I don't want is a heel. So you see both feet is never apart from the floor. This will cause you a knee problem and also the hip problems. So make sure your weight is on your heel. And then once your heel and the feet is apart from the floor and then step apart, step apart, step apart. apart. Yeah. So that is the step called lever. Yeah. So with the tap, you can also move bigger. One, two, three, one, two, three. In this way, you can feel your weight is completely shifting. But make sure on that time, your shoulder is not moving. So with this time, both heels are supposed to be on the floor. This is very important. And otherwise, your shoulder will start moving. That's my weakness too. I have to be really careful too. And feet close together. Two, three, four, one, two. Use your stomach muscle. Four. Okay. That's it.